What is nitrogen narcosis? How do you get it? What are the symptoms? How to avoid it? These are things that I'll be going over today um, and hope you enjoy the video. My name is Tegan. I'm with Otter Aquatics. I'm a PADI MSDT and a Molchanov's Master Freediving Instructor. So let's start with what is nitrogen narcosis? Nitrogen narcosis is when you get to a certain depth and um, you act differently, whether that's through you feel euphoria, you get confused, um, something happens, change, whether it's physically or mentally. Uh, the, what causes this? What causes nitrogen narcosis? Nitrogen narcosis causes are unknown um, and is still uncertain today. Lots of research has been going into this for a long time, but the exact causes are unknown. Um, it varies from person to person and depth to depth. For example, uh, I've been to 55 meters and I've never had an issue with nitrogen narcosis. I have friends, a friend, that feels it at 30 meters um, when they go diving almost every single time. So it's very, uh, it varies greatly from person to person. In your advanced open water course, they will take you a bit deeper to see if you feel the effects, uh, and often they'll give you a, a simple test with numbers or something memor to memorize something, and people do forget. What are the symptoms of nitrogen narcosis? Uh, lack of judgment, trouble concentrating, short memory, disorientation, and confusion are a few. These are the more common ones, but they do again vary from person to person and everyone is different. Uh, names of nitrogen narcosis. Now, the scientific name is nitrogen narcosis or inert gas narcosis. But some of my other favorites are rapture of the deep, NART, or the martini effect. For every 10 meters, they say, it's like having another martini. So you may hear divers talk about this um, when going down and getting narked. Who is more prone to this, getting nitrogen narcosis? Um, who and how is again not fully unknown, but there's some common beliefs and things that will make you more prone to becoming narked at depth. Uh, if you do multiple dives a day, um, you have a lot of those. If you are under some sort of stress, uh, alcohol and drugs are always a no-no with any type of diving, but this happens. Um, if you're fatigued, if the water is cold, uh, it often happens that uh, it's more prone to it. If you're sleepy, uh, etc. Basically, be in good health and you'll have less chance of this. Um, is nitrogen narcosis the bends? No, it is not. Uh, they are different, um, but they can happen uh, from going certain depths. Uh, so, there's a brief overview of nitrogen narcosis to learn more about the bends, to learn more about nitrogen narcosis, please go over to Otter Aquatics and check out our articles um, there. Uh, they'll fill it more in depth and fill you in on everything that you need to know. Thank you. Have a good day.